Hey Leo, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thanks for joining me again. And for those of you guys who are new, welcome. All right, we're going to get started with your love reading for April 2019. Okay, let's see Leo's. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Okay. Let's take a look. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Cups reverses your challenge. Seven of Pentacles. The Lovers reverse in the past. Two of Pentacles reverse is what is crowning you. Five of Cups reverse in the near future. How you see yourself is the two of swords. So a lot of twos here. How your partner sees you, the king of wands reverse. Hmm. Hopes or fears, knight of cups reverse. And your overall outcome, the queen of wands upright. So that looks good. Let's see. So some of you, I feel like you haven't been happy in your relationships um, or in your relationship. <laughs> um, I don't know why I said that, but some of you could have more than one relationship and you're not happy in either one. Um, but for most of you, I just feel you're, you've been having some difficulties with your partner. Um, I feel more it's like disappointment. However... You take your commitments really seriously and I don't see you I don't see you wanting to let go of this or um, taking any action towards letting it go but let's just clarify Ace of Pentacles reverse yeah that's what I'm getting um, you guys are really just focused on working on this relationship, on improving it, uh, because you're really not looking for a new beginning here. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, so the star reverse, well, and the Six of Wands, well, that's interesting. So the star is like a wish fulfillment card, as is the Six of Wands. In this deck, it's called Victory. I feel like you guys are really emotional about something. Let me see. You're really working towards <clears throat> having this relationship like last. You don't you don't want it to end. But there's something about it. There's an element or dynamic in this relationship that that's like a complete disillusionment, you know, like you didn't really picture your life being this way or you didn't picture uh, this relationship taking the turn that it has. Let me see. Two of Cups reverse. Why is this crossing you? The Fool reverse. Here you are, the Queen of Wands reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. There's a sense that you want your freedom. Um, however, you feel a responsibility to continue working on unification, working on staying together, 
uh, working on making this work okay because there's already been with the seven of pentacles it's like you've already invested so much that you, you don't really see the point in having to start over but there is a part of you that's like fighting wanting freedom let's take a look at the seven of pentacles the four of swords and the ten of cups yeah you you just can't um you can't bring yourself to end this relationship even though it's caused you so much disappointment and you're kind of um i feel like you try and you try and you try but it, but and you want it to succeed but there's a part of you that feels like nothing's ever going to change you know and um, you've just you've invested so much in this dream of this ha being your happily ever after. <clears throat> You're just you don't want to let go of that. It's all you think about. Let's see. In the past, we have the lovers reverse. Three of wands. Eight of wands reverse. And the Prince of Pentacles. So you've been waiting for something that hasn't really getting, hasn't been getting much movement. Um, things have been going really slowly. Some of you could be waiting for a decision of some sort. Others of you, with regards to this relationship, I feel like you have taken the stance of, I'm not going anywhere and I'm just going to see what happens, you know, but with the one eight of wands here in the upright. So in the past, it was in the reverse, nothing happening, things stalled. There's movement here. So something maybe shifting, changing Two of pentacles reverse the nine of cups. Okay. The King of Swords. So there's something you see clearly now. I feel like um, there's like this energy that has been lifted. I feel like you guys have been um, perhaps stuck in in some of you could be a depression. Um, just uh, seeing things in a very non hopeful sort of way. And I feel like here you're, you're making a conscious decision to go for what really makes you happy or just to be happy. You know, it's funny because I always tell my, my son, happiness is a choice. You, cho you can either choose to see the beauty in life or you can choose to just focus on all the negativity. And believe me, there's a lot of that around. Um, but it's your choice, uh, how you want to view things. And I feel like here you things have just gotten to be too much um, as far as like what stresses you what disappoints you what there's a lot of that around you um, however I feel that you're making a really conscious choice to to focus on the good uh, specifically with this relationship things have been disappointing maybe behaviors or you know whatever it may be because it will be different for each of you um, but you're not wanting to let this go. You're wanting to focus on the good moments, not focus on this, uh, maybe negative cycle or, um, or stage that you're in within the relationship. Um, in the near future, we have the five of cups and it's in the reverse, which is a good sign. Let's see what happens here. Seven of Wands, High Priestess, King of Cups. So 
So I feel for a lot of you um, that some of the problem is a lack of communication. I feel the thing is that you guys may have a tendency and you might not realize it. So if I say it and, you know, initially you kind of reject the idea of re or reject that um, opinion of yourself, uh, just give it a little bit, <laughs> you know, just simmer on it and really think about it. Because I feel like there is this tendency with you guys to repress what you're feeling or... Um, yeah, it's really just like internalizing certain things and then you're disappointed because your partner or, you know, even this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can be with your family, with your sibling, you know, whoever, with your friends. Um, but I feel like you guys have this tendency to kind of keep things inside or just to, uh, assume that other people are going to understand what it is that you're feeling or how something someone said or did affected you. Um, and that is not necessarily the case. And that's why I, I, I think in many cases it might leave you feeling hopeless, disappointed, um, you know, that kind of thing. But what I'm feeling here is that there is healing coming because you're standing up for yourself, but you're doing it in a very mature way. I feel some of you, we have the High Priestess here and the King of Cups. You may be dealing with a Pisces. So there may be a need to stand up, especially for those of you dealing with a Pisces. There's a need for you to stand up for yourself with this person and get things off of your chest so that you're not carrying around any resentment. Okay. Uh, and even for those of you who are not with a Pisces, um, I feel like, a, you know, a very calm conversation where you're making your point, but you're not getting all lying on them, you know? Like Leo is sometimes, and you know, my Mars is in Leo, so I can be very dramatic at times, especially when I'm angry, you know, so we, we do want to curb that a little bit, but I feel like things that you have been keeping to yourself, you need to express, okay, in a loving way though, because the King of Cups is here, in a loving way, but the point needs to be made. So how you see yourself is the Two of Swords. And in this card, it's like completely rejecting something. You don't want, you don't want conflict. You don't, you want nothing to do with something here. Hangman reverse. Empress and the King of Wands. I feel like there's been an inner battle because, again, and Eight of Wands are about communication. So again, I feel like there has been a lot of repressed feelings and emotions. Uh, and you have been simmering on them. We have the, the hangman here, but it's in the reverse. So, which means you came to some sort of conclusion. And, and again, I'm going back to, you're clearer now on what you want, like where you want to be. Okay, you don't want to be in a state of, um, war with your partner or anything like that. You want to be happy. You want it to be, you want to be in a relationship that's nurturing, that can flourish. Um, and that is the action that you're wanting to take. Anything else, it's like you don't want conflict, drama. You don't, you don't want it. I feel like you've, um, It's almost like you feel you're above that now. You know, maybe in, and maybe that's why there, there's been so much repression because perhaps in the past you were a little bit too forceful in your interpersonal um, relationships and it had negative consequences. And so now that's why, you know, perhaps you shy away from having difficult conversations. 
because you are trying to protect this um it's like you're trying to protect the beauty of the relationship you don't want it to to get ugly you know so you're doing everything that you can to contribute to making this relationship fruitful again beautiful again how your partner sees you as the king of wands so they see that there's something off you know either they see you angry all the time or irritated or there's just something and I, I definitely feel like it's this is about communication you need to get it out you know make your point don't be afraid to make your point as long as you keep your emotions in check there shouldn't be an issue and if there is then then you know maybe there's other things that need to be thought about okay we have another king the king of pentacles reverse hmm. queen of pentacles reverse It's almost like um, somehow they don't recognize who you are right now. They don't recognize <clears throat> how you are as a couple and they don't recognize your behavior right now. So what I feel is that you've been holding in your feelings and your thoughts for so long that it, it's reached the boiling point. and um it's it's uh, like it's not out yet you haven't come out with it but your partner senses that something is off something is really wrong this is not how you typically act so they're, they may be getting a little bit anxious because they see your behavior now hopes or fears is the knight of cups reverse which again i'm feeling it's like you're you're fearing that the connection between the two of you is going to be lost for good that you're never going to get back to those sweet days you know the the romance the ten of pentacles you're afraid of losing the love in this marriage the affection you know that the, the niceties that's what you're missing you're missing for your partner to be nurturing and the reason that they're not nurturing is because <clears throat> you're coming across as um not being approachable you know to them because you have a lot of things that are pent up inside that you're just carrying around like resentments and stuff like that that is uh, difficult unless you get it out which i feel that you are here in the near future so it's going to be a good thing and then we end up with the queen of wands in the upright so let's see seven of pentacles reverse okay princess of pentacles reverse and the ace of swords you finally figure out um that not having communication not clearly expressing yourself has been holding you back not just in this relationship but has been keeping you from other opportunities um Yeah, and it's been keeping you from receiving, you know, the treatment or uh, rewards from the universe. And finally, just expressing yourself changes everything for you. Look at that. There's a breakthrough for you guys. You see how this woman, um, there's like an orchestra here in front of her. So all of a sudden she has this mastery to, to make others. If you think about, you know, the music that they're playing, whatever is uh, she is directing them to do is, is sounding so beautiful. 
I feel like you guys were underestimating yourselves. Um, and thinking that if you show your partner or anybody else for that matter who you really are or how you really feel or what you are showing they're telling them what you really think that somehow people would change their opinion about you and that's not the case so overall what i see here is just a communication problem and once you are over that issue i think it's going to do wonders for you okay we started off things being a little bit eh, and then you end up here as the queen of wands Okay, complete confidence. All of a sudden, you see the results of you know what you're doing, the changes that you're making, what you're directing. You're taking power. You're taking your power back. So it looks good, Leo. You just you know you just got to do it. You just got to say what you feel in a loving way, but make sure people know because they can't read minds. All right, let's get a couple of angel um romance angel oracle cards and see what the message is there but that's pretty much what i'm getting um just concentrate on having better communication with your partner and i think things are really going to improve for you guys all right let's see what are the messages for leo for april 2019 we have wedding the situation involves marriage codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life Attraction. Soulmate. Hmm. And love yourself first. Okay. So what I feel here <clears throat> is that there is definitely a deep bond between you and your partner. You guys can actually be soulmates. Um, but what I feel is that, you know, obviously the love is still there. The attraction is still there. Everything is still intact. However, there is a need for Leos to uh, learn about healthy boundaries um, so that you're not letting your partner walk all over you without your partner even having the intent to walk all over you. It's sort of like you're, you're opening up that path for them without you even realizing and without them realizing that that's what they're doing. Um, and, and it has to do with, you know, loving yourself first and, and and that means that you have the right to say what you don't like and what you like and you know making rules if that's that's what it takes um but it's definitely you know to get over this there is no other way other than communication and setting those healthy boundaries so that you're not feeling like your partner or anybody else around you is um infringing upon your kindness or um you know just anything else this is about standing up for yourself and letting people know hey don't cross this line okay aside from that doesn't change the attraction that doesn't change the love it just helps guide others um towards you know a relationship where you feel respected I think is the right word okay so that's what this is all about okay let's see what you have going on for finance and career now okay Leo April 2019 finance and career of cups okay ten of swords reverse in the past we have the wheel of fortune oh two came out and the two of wands hmm. present energy I don't want to take two present energy Five of Pentacles reverse. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, the strength card. That's your card. Wow. Bottom of the deck, the king of wands. So I do feel in the area of finance and career, this is going to be a good month for you. Um, something happened in the past where it was a huge change. Okay. It's almost like a portal was open for you and another path opened up or you, you were going along one path and then something big happened and you were forced because this is like the universe working. This is not really you. Uh, you were forced to look at other options, you know, something changed. You had to go along with the changes that were going on here. Um, but I do feel like there was, um, a sense of uncertainty. about these changes there, there, there was, um, there were res reservations about it. I don't, I don't get the feeling that you were very excited about these changes here in the past. Now, presently, I feel like if you guys have been going through some financial difficulty or you have been out of a job, the, the worst is over. So the tough times are, are like, you know, that energy is getting ready to leave your vicinity and there may be a job coming up for you here okay this is like a contract um and especially next to the five of pentacles in the reverse there there is like a an improvement of a financial situation and then we have this strength card here what makes makes it even better so let's see let me take a look at the two of wands with the wheel of fortune it's a change in your life course Whoa, just came flying out. The Prince of Cups. Yeah, it was a new beginning. Seven of Wands, but like I said, it wasn't something that you really welcomed. It was not comfortable. It was like you, you kind of fought this, this change in your life because you felt vulnerable. To me, the Prince of Cups, <sighs> yeah, I just, I'm getting like a vulnerability here. You, you weren't comfortable with this change at all. Let me see, Two of Cups. Three of Cups, Devil Reverse. Okay, so negativity, you're getting away from negativity. If you were involved in some negative, um, like your job or your previous employment, it was not good for you or um, somebody who was very, uh, maybe micromanaging you, um, there may have been like abuse uh, of some kind or rumors or something like that. I feel like all of that is in the past now. You're coming to some new opportunities that, that are going to change your financial situation. It's going to be cause for celebration. You see this uh, Ten of Swords reverse. The Queen of Swords reverse. getting um really strongly that you were somehow slandered um there was rumors or gossip about you know something you know how how you perform in the workplace or just what type of person you are there were rumors and i feel like that that is over now you can rest from that that's not going to follow you the king of cups Again, I, I, I'm getting this King of Cups here. It's like, um, I feel like it's over, but also you have grown as a result of it. It's like you have matured in, in the way that you communicate to other people or in the way that you interact with them. Your emotions, you, you don't uh, fly off the handle um, when things get tough. I, I feel like you, you needed to learn that lesson or something here. Five of Pentacles reverse, 
three of wands yeah your ships are coming in if you if you guys have been looking for a new job it's coming in prince of swords reverse two of cups you don't see it it's going to be like out of left field you have no idea where it's coming from uh but it's coming okay strength in the future this is you at your best the wheel of fortune things are going in your favor now this change in course change in direction that you didn't like in the past um you're gonna like it now <laughs> i feel like this was all you know kind of pushing you pushing you pushing you through towards a direction that you never even thought of and once it comes it's 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 gonna dawn on you like oh that's why this is where i'm supposed to be change two of pentacles Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. Energies are shifting. So you guys have been through a really tough time with a you know major changes. Um, some of you may have had to move, and you didn't want to, or you wanted to move and someone didn't want to. Someone blocked you. Um, but I feel here that there were some lessons that needed to be learned. I also feel like. This good fortune here has been here for you for quite a while, but there was something that you needed to um, mature in order to fully be able to receive all these blessings that are getting ready to come to you. Okay, this, like I said, the strength card is Leo at its best. And so the change is here. It's going to lead to 10 of pentacles and a wheel of fortune. That's amazing, amazing energy for you. So great things coming is what I see here for you guys. So just hang in there. And I feel definitely, even in the financial reading, um, there's an element here that you guys need to work on your communication skills so that you feel that you're being heard and others um, don't feel like they're about to be eaten by this, this lion, <laughs> okay? So tame the lion a little bit. Um, so that you can effectively get your point across without scaring people. All right. Thank you so much, Leos. I'll see you soon.